the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. What happened? Tom Thomasina Bateman has gone to... What's the name of the town? B B Burley? Burley. Burley. Because she wants to excavate a barrow, which, again, I didn't know this when I first started. A barrow is like a, ma a burial mound from, from ancient times. Bewley! Bewley. I was close. I was close, yes. Um... She's gone there and you know everybody's really unfriendly about it you know they, they don't like the outsiders they don't uh i went all west country then it's not west country it's yorkshire victorian era yorkshire as well uh she's found out her dad was there 25 years ago and that's how he had his accent which you know uh which paralyzed him and put him in a co a waking coma basically um Yorks and likes, yay! I, 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 do you know what? York, Yorkshire's fantastic. I do love Yorkshire. Uh, what else happened? She's had a dream and met a goblin in the dream who said she, the goblin goblins was like, I helped your dad. And now I can help him again, which I assume means he can bring him out the coma. Um and we got permission to we got permission to dig at the barrow. I think that's about as far as we got. There's a cat. There's a cat that lived in the toilet. Dream. We we with the dream goblin. We've also we, we've all seen the dream goblin at some point in our life. But he came to the Thomasina. Uh, little man. Just he was just a little guy, you know. So that was cool. Uh, there was lots of flashbacks last time. I can't remember what I can't remember what the, our next goal is. But let's uh, let's see. We got music, we got music. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway. Right, so if I look at my to do, how do I get my to do this stuff against? Like the Here we go. Investigate the local folklore. Find work. Oh, yes, we've got a fine workman for the excavation. Find milk. Right, and help Mr. Bryden with his aching joints. Right, so he won't milk the goat because he's got aching joints. We need the milk for Mr. Tompkins. So I think that gives us a clear thing to do at the moment. Uh, now the first thing, the first thing that makes me, uh, that I think of is go see the the lady in the woods. What's her name? It'll come to me in a minute. It's like Mystic Meg or something, but it's not Mystic Meg, is it? Obviously. Hmm. Anyway. I can't think of a name. Oh! Another flashback. Daddy, I have something for you. I do hope you remember it. I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right? All right. Oh, we're, we're doing it now, are we? It's a, it's a crate. Daddy, oh. You must remember this. The day that started it all. It's the Yorkshire. You right, Sarah? How's it going? First ever excavation. Hmm. Where should I put it? Bayek. Mother took away all the knickknacks that used to sit on these shelves. The pot might look nicer a little closer to the light anyway. You got how am I? I'm doing all right. The pot might look nicer a little closer to the light anyway. I'm just sad that I've got to go, I've got to go back to work tomorrow. Perfect. It will catch the light from your lamp so yeah. nicely. Very sad about that. There. I'm going to become a great baron. I did so much work this week. I'll week off. I did so much work. <laughs> just, just not for, not for my job. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Yeah, one one day I'll have a week off work where I'm not doing much. I can actually sit and relax. Uh. Not going to happen anytime soon, no. My next week off is in May when I am going to New York. And, 
The chance of me relaxing on that holiday is fairly, fairly low. It's going to be a weird old week as well, because the weekend before I go is Eurovision, which is in this city, so I'm going to be, you know, I don't know if anybody from, from Tinternet is going to come down and I'll be able to meet them or anything. Uh, but I'd, I'd like to, and... Uh, but regardless, something will be happening in Eurogame. You know, no, Beth, no, we've just started. We just started, really. I've just been walking along. Um, so if anybody comes down, if anyone comes to Liverpool for Eurovision, I'll meet them. That would be nice. Uh, so that's that weekend. And then the Thursday after... No, wait. Before Thursday, I can't remember which day exactly, but it's my son's birthday. I think maybe the Sunday or the Monday. I can't remember what the dates are. So we've got that, so we've got to do something for him. And then on the Thursday, I'm going to Manchester to meet uh, Streamer Beth Souls and her community uh, for a, a, a thing called Format. Um, so that'll be fun. I'll have a little party with them on Thursday. Friday, I'll probably spend some time with them as well uh, in Manchester. So I'll stay over in Manchester. And then Saturday, I'm flying to New York. <laughs> so that, this is just going to be a hell of a long week. And I'm just going to... At the end of those two weeks, because obviously... Friday, I'm in love. Yeah. At the end of those two weeks, by the time I've done all that and then done a week in New York, I'm just going to be passing out, aren't I? But that's my next time... That's my next time off work. <laughs> anyway. Good day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. Surely. Someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? What? Oh, that's a dream, Vera. That's a dream. I'm afraid. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements, elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then One day I'll relax myself into the grave. The, the rate I'm going. Thank you. I didn't listen to any of that. Flirtwort, that elderflower. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. On moors? Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? What does elderflower? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Milk. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? No, sorry. Not to worry. Do you, you, I was very serious, and this is like an offer open to like just you, basically. I'm, but I, I literally have a blow up bed. If you really, really want to come down for Eurovision, if you can't arrange anything else, blow up that bed. You can sleep in this room. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. Uh, because I know I know how much you love Eurovision and stuff, and if if I can help, if I can help in that little way, I literally have a blow up mattress. Uh, you can see, yeah, I'll put the right. I'll put this board. <laughs> I'll put I'll put this board right up at the end of the. Uh... <laughs> I'll put this board up at the end of the at the end of the bed. <laughs> And everybody, everybody's names can watch over you while you sleep. <laughs> How's that for an offer? <laughs> what you've always wanted. And be able to sleep. And like, I have, oh my God, my hair today. Oh, I hate that my hair's receding. Receding hairline just means that I occasionally just get a, a little bit of a... Uh, some people would pay good money for that, yeah. How do I look now? I don't know what that's fair. 
and you can you can like you can, you can almost almost stuff toys in there and stuff you know ah oh, it'll be lovely you got a sofa to sit to sit on and sit on the sofa and I might even brush the floor before you come round. Anyway, so let's go right. find these flowers. <laughs> uh, they're both white flowers, right? Let's go. Let's go check in the, the church gardens first. That's that'll be the that'll be the first place I look. Uh, she said she said check out on the moors if I'm lucky. Oh, hello, Vicar. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Well, that sounds a bit ominous. Quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. Oh yeah, we keep he keeps quoting Shakespeare at me. And I kept getting it right and saying exactly what it was. Uh Okay, so the, ch the church didn't happen. Let's just go out on the moors. Uh, this is where I started, wasn't it? That goes to the farm. We'll go. No, we'll go. Go this way. Oh, it's the girl. She keeps running away from us. Hey, little one. Hello. 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 What's this? A fiddle bow? Oh my god, she's stabbing me with the fiddle bow. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Thomasina's a fine name. Don't be shy. I don't mean you any harm. That's exactly what someone who meant you harm would say. What are you doing out here all alone on the moors? He's the goblin's daughter. We've... Here. Watch out a bit with it, sure. Hmm. Would you like me to fix your bow so you can play your fiddle again? Yes? Yeah. Oh, she ran away. Okay. Hey. Most peculiar. Perhaps I can mend the bow for her. He's definitely not hidden behind the cairn. Of my childhood violin lessons. He definitely didn't just run behind the cairn and hit. The string is made from animal hair coated in a waxy resin. The oh, we've got the waxy resin already. That's good. Hmm. I just need the animal hair now. Well, maybe I do have the animal hair. There's the resin. Hey. Right, so no flowers here. You can only win the lotto. Lo That's not true. There's definitely been people who have won the jackpot more than once in the lotto. Uh, especially, I, I remember seeing those stories. You know, you used to always get like the news stories about people who won the lottery uh, back in the early days of the lottery. And it thrust some people into kind of like a, a, a semi-celebrity state, which they couldn't handle and burnt out pretty quick and... Ugh. Back up dark. Oh, herbs, hello. This looks like elderflower to me. She looks rather grumpy. We Good thought to her. Fresh produce. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye. Perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye. Penny of... Aye. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? Yes. Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What do you take me for? Goodbye. Take I this. have some savings and I put them into premium bonds and, you know, just instead of, like, putting them in a high interest rate account or something. To be honest, they, it's done really well. And every few months, I'll get an I'll get a, an email saying, "Hey, you." For those who don't know, premium bombs is like a raffle, basically. The road disappears. And for every pound you put in, see nothing but moorland. You get a ticket. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. 
Uh, and then there's like a draw. And you can you can win like a million quid on it and stuff like that. Um, but every every couple of every couple of months, I'll get like an email saying you've won a you've won seventy five pounds or something like that. And it's not much. It's not much, but it's more than I would be getting out of interest in interest. You know, if it was just in a. Uh, in an account, so that's all right. I should probably invest it, really, but that sounds like that sounds like effort to me. I didn't listen to the. Th I asked about a trade, and then I promptly did not listen to what she had to say because I was too busy talking about premium bonds. Oh hello, shrub. A shrubbery. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Heck yeah. A nice shrubbery. The sickening thing. I found out this. But even when you have a little bit of money, money attracts money. Because then you can put it into, like, savings and stuff. And the savings earn money. Isn't that fucked up? Well, let's, t let's talk to the... It's very expensive to be poor. This is, you know, this is not, like, new information or anything. It is very expensive. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Yeah, the, the go find boots index with the yeah the the whole you know, someone with money can buy a nice pair of boots which will last, but if you're poor then you got to buy a shoddy pair of boots which will wear out quicker and therefore you just end up spending more on boots than if you were. I have nothing else to ask. Okay, nothing else to ask. Okay, I don't know what she's. Hello, it froze. Okay, whew. Flirt wart, okay. I need flirt wart. Let's go ask the, uh, the fella here. Stanley, that's his name. Nothing else to talk about right now. No. There's nothing else I. No. Nope. I'm not going. I don't care. No. Okay. Who are you? Hello there. Yes. Hello there. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Talk to him as if he's 12. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself. He's a musician, isn't he? Ah, oh, yeah, he's one of them musicians, lad. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. Come listen, lad. Uh, you're in an absolutely ludicrous amount of dirt. Okay, here's a thought, which isn't new again. It's not. It's, this is not a new thought. Uh, oh, I click out the window, why don't I? Um, doctors and stuff, right? Doctors and, and other high-trained uh, positions like that. They're in great demand. And they take great skill and, you know, a great a lot of, you know, a great amount of, uh, of effort to become a doctor. And yet, they expect you to pay all this money. Vera, I can only guess how much, how much you are in debt. They expect you to pay all this money to become a doctor. Even though we're desperate for doctors all of the time. So their education to become a doctor should be free. In fact, education in general should be free, let's face it. But no. We can't do that. That's communism. Apparently. What do you make of beauty? Healthcare should be free as well. I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. He doesn't usually travel this far south. Hold on a second. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Yeah, exactly, Vera. Exactly. Thank you for your time. 
Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. Sound, that sound. I don't need to use the filthy lavatories. What if I do? Oh, what was that TV show? What was that? What was that show about the sur the cosmetic surgeons? You know the the drama. Um, I never really watched it, but I'm aware of of said show. Doctor Nine No Two One Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Oof, that's a lot of money. Nip, tuck, nip, nip, tuck. it was nip slash tuck, wasn't it? That's right. Nip, nip, nip and tuck, but nip, nip, tuck, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go and ask where Flirt was. You can, we can get... Nip, tuck, nip, tuck was the drama. Yeah, the drama is what I was talking about, yeah. Good day. Yes. Flirt walk. Can I find some flirt wart? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. House as well. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Right, so the game. She's telling me to. Do, I might get lucky, so that's that's the game telling me what to do, basically. House wasn't about plastic surgery, though, was it? I'm spitting everywhere. I do apologise. Uh, House was like, "Oh, it's not. It's not lupus." Apart from the one time it was lupus. So I went out on the moors and I found some elderflower, not flirtwort. But we've got elderflower now. Okay. Grey's anatomy? Isn't Grey's anatomy like still going? Also, how, hi Dahlia, how's it going? Do, 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 do. Mutton pies! Mutton pies! The box is full of various... I already have some elderflower. I should take it to Mildred. What am I going to do for... Oh, you're still in your... Oh. The window box is... Oh, a horsey! Hello. Horse hair would make fine bowstring. <laughs> she almost took my head off. Well, what, you, what do you expect? What do you expect? Knife. <laughs> use knife, of horse. I'd certainly use the knife to cut some hair from her tail, but I'm going to have to gain her trust unless I want a hoof to the nose. Oh yeah, fair enough. Uh, apple. Hey, girl. Would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Boo. Uh, fuck it. The horse has been provided with some drinking water. Uh, right. Eat the apple. It is a, it is a pretty manky apple, to be fair. The produce is not mine. Sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. Hmm. Mutton pies! Mutton pies! Good day. How did you like your apple? It was shit. I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up. That slander, that is. <laughs> hey, up. Don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples? Even the horse wouldn't eat it, you staff sod. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Selling them at a steal. Would miss like to buy some? No, thank you. Ugh. Right, so that's a dead end. Right, okay, maybe if I take the elderflower at least to the lady whose name I've already forgotten again. Maybe, maybe, maybe you'll give me some sort of clue as to where I can get the, the thing you walk from. And that might be a, a, a way to advance the story. We'll, we'll give it a go. 
I got I got scared by the squirrel then. Good day. Yes. Yes. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. Ah, oh, it's cowbane. The two look very similar. All right. Um, it's safe to eat as long as you're not a cow. What's the name? Toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Ah. You might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, mm. white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. <gasps> There's no white flowers anywhere apart from that one shrubbery. Let's... Let's go, let's go back to the, the lady here and see if we can do anything. Oh, hello. Hello, hello Jane. Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Go on. You're getting apples. Can we have one of them? Ta da! Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Go ahead. Miss. She's, gonna, she's just going to do the three apples. Okay. Very impressive. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Go on, juggle, juggle this one. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Go on. Yeah, hey, look at that go. Little pixel art girl going for it. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. Is it the same apple? Very impressive. Is it a less rotten apple? No, it's the same apple. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Hmm. There's nothing else. There's elderflower here. I can't just steal the elderflower. There must be another way of getting my hands on it. Kill them. Kill them all. Uh, threaten her with the knife. I don't wish to give that away. No, you, you, you stab her with it and then take the elderflower. D d do you want some cowbane? I'm not sure they would be interested. No, uh, okay. Uh, would you like Bride and Stone? I'm not sure they would be in No. Would you like Um I tried Cowbane, didn't I? I don't wish to <laughs> yeah, prison rules. Prison rules apply in small villages in Yorkshire. Uh, would the cow eat the, I don't wish the to cow? The horse eat the cow's mane? No. Beat us a cat. I don't wish to wake him up. What do I wish to do then? I can... If I remember, she just goes no. It disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Go for a walk. Oh. Boo. I don't need to go in there again. Do I not? I Right, Dahlia, right, exactly. Mr. Long mustn't be in. Long, long man. You say anything to the pie seller? Perhaps you'd be more interested in a Scotch egg. Freshly made, just one penny each. No, thank you. Okay, so it's... Mm. Miss Tompkins. Good day. Do you have any milk for me, ma'am? Not yet, Miss Tompkins. Oh dear. 
No sign of Mr. Ambrose. Oh dear. I'm afraid not. It's a crozier. Good day. Hey up. Hey up. I met a girl at the Devil's Toe. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ah. Well, you've experienced the local folklore firsthand, then, lass. Hmm. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Rat, how's it going? I'm on a search for flowers, rat. It's proving quite troublesome. Okay, we'll go that. We'll go this way. Mushrooms and all. Yeah, we can go this way, can't we? Aha. Uh -huh. On the barrow itself. Are there any flowers on the barrow? No, there's not. God damn. You look at okay, shh. Arr. Well, this was less than helpful. Check by the goat. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't like the goat. Give it the cow's bane. I'm not going near that thing again. Oh, that's what she said. Pirate grave, yeah. Hmm. Pick up the mushrooms. James Ragdoll. It is, but okay, so I can't. Mm. I'm just going back and forth between all the different areas now. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. Oh, you know what the Devil's Toe looks like, do you? A local landmark. Y you've looked and you've gone, oh yeah, that looks that. Mm. Yeah, that does look like a Devil's Toe, actually. Now you mention it. Oh wait, he's not in. Don't knock on the door. Mr. Shoulder told. Yeah, he did, didn't he? You're a sweet little thing. I picked up a hen. Ah, oh, I got an achievement. Feathered friend. He do it this one. Too unruly to be picked up. A bit rude. Pick up that one as well. Little thing, aren't you? Pick up the little chuck chucks. Hmm. It doesn't help with the whole finding little chick. No, no, no! Don't eat it. It gives eggs, and you eat the eggs. Eggs. I am. Um, Rather stuck. Is that might call the devil's ass near you? Oh my word. Does it look like an ass? Doth thou landmark resemble an ass? Oh god, we're back here again now. What am I gonna do? Yeah, does, does the devil have that cake? There's no flipping workmen available. There's no flowers. I can't get the flowers. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. The There's a hole in my bucket. Eliza. Shut up! Getting annoyed now. Sounds like the devil is farting. Okay. Right. Sure, why not? Let's go. I'm going knocking door to door now because it. 
I don't know what else to do other than going on game facts and looking up a walkthrough. Book it off! Ah, the unmistakable charm of old Cyril. Ah! You've never been inside the devil's ass, so that's good to know. I don't think anyone is home. I don't think anyone's home either. Uh, I know. Let's let's go knocking on these doors here because I'm not. Hold on. That door. I've not tried these doors. I don't think anyone is home. No one's home. How about the how about the cobblers? Hmm. No one here. Well. Poopy doos. I don't think anyone is home. What am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? Hello, Jane. Miss. No, I don't want to watch you juggle. I made a mistake. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Good day. Sell would miss no. Right, uh the produce is Don't care, just produce. take some just take some. No, that's not it. I'm not sure they would be I dare Right, okay, so she can juggle four apples. We can we can get this to happen, so this must be part of the puzzle. And yet, and yet, I can't do anything here. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I want an, a non-rotten apple. Be careful with those things. Yes, miss. Oh, hello. Do it again. 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 Easy. I'll throw it at the woman. <laughs> Ta-da! Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. Here's my apple back. I'm very impressed. I am as well. Hmm. I thought I was onto something then for a second, but no. Hmm. Oi! Keep your grubby hands off me produce. Sorry. Hmm. No, that... Hmm. Oi! Keep your grub... Sorry. Hmm. The empty bucket smells of rancid milk. Lovely. A chisel. Stabber. No, I'm not looking to give it away. I don't, I don't know what to do. I know, but I feel like I need to just Go on a rampage, basically. The, the people in this town are just doing my absolute nothing. I mean, Mr. Crozier is alright. The bucket is rusty. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Hmm. Do, do, do you want a shit apple? I'm not sure they would be. No. Do you want cow's bane? No. Do you want? Do you want stabbing? I'm not sure they would be interested. No. Do you, do you... I really don't. Would she go back? Hold on. That's not been in here. Hello. Good day to you, pet. Mr. Plancy. Mr. Plancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. 
Oh, here we go. We got we got conversations. Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He has a green thumb. Okay. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. Ooh. He's got a lovely collection Ooh. of up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key. Ooh. Door somewhere. Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. Time to go snooping. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Ooh. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. Is it? Is it? I found out my father visited. Is it in that grave? Five years ago, William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? Bateman, William Bateman. I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. No, no one of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? Ugh. I concern myself only with matters related to... I was like, oh, my phone just vibrated. I'm sorry, Someone I'm loves me and I looked at it and it was just going, no, your Sky TV subscription is... Uh... It's coming out of your account. What Great. do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Oh, the youth of today. These books pew. But you know, the, the world existed before Jesus. Quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Ah. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. I can't remember what Saxnot is now. Fresh milk goes, that was last though. week. I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Ask it. That's not mine to interfere with. Interfere anyway. This must belong to Mrs. De Plancy. Okay, maybe not. So we hid the key outside somewhere. We went in the graveyard. Fresh grave. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. This appears. To okay. Trowel. I may be a barrow digger. Are you? It's, it's clearly in there. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. Samuel Bryden. Death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Joseph Davis. Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother mm -hmm. and sister. Today she dances with angels. Just today. Forever in light. No, she's, Anne she's, Kemp. she's doing stairs. She didn't make it. She's doing, she's doing stairs. That was a terrible accident. I do apologise. Dearly beloved husband of Florence. The key I seek is clearly in the fresh grave, and she will this, not. This appears to be. A... She will not do anything with the fresh grave. I'm not sure what... No, I'm not sure what that would achieve either. <sighs> what was this one? William Paxton. Modest and gentle of heart. So, so clearly he hides it in the grave. 
In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of... In memory of Peter Black. All right, Haz, have a pleasant evening. Thank you for coming along. Paxton. I appreciate this. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. In memory of... This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. Ah, 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 stick, stick your knife in. Because he, he loves his, uh, he loves his Shakespeare. It take me a month of Sundays to scratch away the plaster with a knife. Okay, well, chisel then. For crying out loud, just do it. I think I can chip away at this plaster. There's a key behind here. There must have been about okay, so that it's it wasn't in the it wasn't in the grave. Uh well how did the father get the thing off the wall whenever he needed the key? You know. Capital. Capital. Okay, so I'm making some progress at least. That's encouraging. Hey, look, white flowers. A small label on the pot reads, Flirtwort. This is just what I need. So I've got, I've got the flirtwort now. I just need the elderflower. I should put the key back. Oh, she's doing that automatically. All right, that's good. There. I hope that stays on. Right, let's go. Let's go talk to the lady whose name I cannot remember for the life of me. Who lives in the woods. We'll do that. Mildred. Day. Yes. I think I have some flirt wart here. Show me. Ah, that's flirt water, all right. Let me know when you found some elderflower too. Farewell. I know where the other flower is. I just don't know how to get at it. Oh. Can I go back in the badger hole? What's in the bag? I, sh I shan't be visiting the badgers again. I was lucky to escape intact. Ah. Disappointment. All right, let's. Can, can we can we juggle again? I dare you to juggle the. E she. She didn't like it, but. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple. I'm very impressed. I can't just steal the elderflower. There must be another way of getting my hands on it. Oh, there must be. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. This cowbane certainly looks a lot like elderflower. A handful of flirtwort. Hmm. Oi! Keep your grubby hands off me produce. Sorry. She, she's, she's clearly trying to swap them. But I can't because she's there paying attention to stuff. Hmm. Oi! No. Sorry. I thought maybe when she looked away, but no. The sign is well out of reach. Now she won't talk to anyone in here. Um. I don't wish to take it. 
I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. I've stored my cake a box. A box within a box. Jammed shut. Oh, okay. The candle had. I've too much. I don't want to take. Mm. What do you reckon? I don't wish to carry around. I'd rather not. I don't wish to lose an eye. I'll ah. Please, are you sure you don't want the apple, horsey? Hey, girl. Would you like an apple? She does not wish to eat the apple. She is completely indifferent. The, ha the horse has been. That's not mine. Not mine to take. Come on, you're in a you're in a you're in a video game. Take the take the buckets. Take the buckets. Take the plants. Take the. Oh, I can't go this. I can't go this way. What am I thinking? The road did. Knock on the door. Nobody home. There's no nobody ever home in these houses. I've tried the cow bang with the horse, but no, the horse is not interested in the cow bang. I think the solution involves swapping the cow bang with the elderflower. But she's... There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. The cross denotes this as... She's paying too close of attention. Uh... Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and... Excuse me. I don't wish to give that. I don't wish to give that away. I'm not sure they would be interested. I don't wish to give. I don't wish to give. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't wish to give that away. Oh, thanks, Beth. I, I appreciate that. I'm not sure. I don't wish. I don't wish. To... No. Oh no, I didn't want to watch the trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. She can, it's been proven. Hmm. Sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. The produce is... The produce is not mine to take. Hmm. That's a peculiar... No, one more time. One more time with the extra apple. There's got to be something. Easy. I'm just going to look it up. I need to know. The X. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. Right. That, look, okay. Oh, just give me a walk through. I hate to do this, but I am literally just wandering. A low spoiler guide, that's good, okay. Wait. Mm-hmm. Hints available. Go. The woods. She's not willing to trade. We know that. Uh, might be able to distract her and swipe some elder flowers. I know that much. Hmm. 
God damn it, I will not figure that one out. Oh my word. It goes this hole. I shall name you Kenneth the Second. Kenneth the Second. Right, we would have been we would have been going this entire stream. And I would never have finished figured this one out. Uh, the worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. A worm is now in the apple. I've forgotten about those worms. Juggle this, Jane. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm! Ah ha ha! Quick, 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 quick. Got the elder flowers. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Don't just say it out loud. She that she would she would have heard that. She would have heard that. Shut up about your scotch eggs. Mildred Walker. You're right there, Mildred. The ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you smash, go. Smash, 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 smash. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much. Right. Let's, uh... Let's go see Mr. Bryden. Do, 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 do. He lives this way, right? Yeah. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. I said, knock, knock. Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may Who? know her as Mother Mildred. Mother Mildred. Thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see her myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Oh, Bayek. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of 20 again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old you and his fire in Yes. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange. Stand well back, lass. I've got eggs. I've not had scotch eggs in ages. Oh, that sound. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Wonder how they did the foley for that for that sound then. Eunice the provider. Okay. Right. Let's go see. Miss Tompkins. Here we go. Goat milk. I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. Here. Mum, you've saved my hide. Yay. <sighs> now what? I'm worried about Mr. Ambrose. Oh, God, now what? Any road, I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Would you still like to meet his lordship? Very much so. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home all right. He's a very busy man. 
I'll take my chances. Follow me then. There we go. See? Come on over. It's not much further. I mean, I already know it's going to be James. This. The strange foppish man. What time do you call this? Sorry, ma'am. Give it here, then. What the hell is this muck? Goat milk, ma'am. You daft bint. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Bint. Not be pleased. Get back to your sweeper before I clip you over the head. Ah. Oh. No appreciation for some with some people, is there? Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, ma'am. I can't talk. Miss Fenchurch is ever so mad at me. What? Why would you sweep a dirt path? Oh, Miss Fenchurch, go on. Hello there. Bugger off, you whelp. This is private land. I was wondering if it might be possible to speak with Lord Pat Charming. Are you deaf, girl? Don't make me fetch the guards. They're armed, you know. By Christ, you're like a dog with a bone. I am. Yes. I can assure you the only things getting shot around here are the pheasant. And perhaps the odd grouse. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. Lord James Panswick. See? It was, it was obvious, wasn't it, eh? Obvious. You're Lord Panswick? He's Lord As Panswick. He As he you could have told me that before. What is life without mystery, Miss Bateman? Ah, it's almost as if we're playing an, uh, a graphic adventure game. Imagining someone... Much older and far less handsome? Yes, to be honest. Yes, to be frank. Oh, there you go. See, I, I wrote this game. I can read your mind, my dear. Now, may I ask, what brings you to my manor? I wanted to ask if I could borrow oh, some of your labourers. Oh? For what purpose? I intend to excavate Hobbs Barrow tomorrow, and I'm in need of some assistance. An excavation? How very delightful. We're in the middle of our own works right this minute. Follow me, Miss Bateman. Come along. I promise I don't bite. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe she wants... Maybe she wants him to. For generations, this chapel was a place of unique devotion. And this was until some of my more... Define... Unique. ...got him and abandoned it. Why did they abandon it? Men of great wealth and power can grow so comfortable that they forget they still need the divine. Oh, I'm yawning at you all. I do apologize. I do apologize. The chapel soon turned to rubble, and with time, even the villagers forgot him. His influence endured, but only with the isolated few who lived on him. the very fringes of these moors. The goblin man. Believe it or not, my family's fortunes have dwindled ever since. Since I succeeded my father, it has become my life's work to restore this place of worship. With this sacred place rebuilt, he shall be venerated once more, and the name Panswick shall be uttered again across all of England. He guided the hands of my ancestors. Now it is time for him to guide us. This sounds very spooky. It really is a godless place. Have you forgotten about St. Edmunds? Father Roach might disagree. <laughs> I shall bring him back to these lands, and this chapel shall be his seat once again. I mean, this doesn't sound concerning at all. A new world. But it's oh my God. wish to bring back the past. From out of the old world shall come the new. A greater truth. But I digress. Horace, my dear fellow. Aye, anyway. Lordship. This fair lady here is in need of some assistance. Would you and your chaps be up for a spot of digging at Hobbs Barrow tomorrow? Hobbs Barrow? Ah, your lordship, tis no bother. Good man. You're in luck, my dear. Here we go. These are my finest. They're all yours. Thank you. I am grateful. On one condition. Uh -oh. Yes? I've heard wonders about Mary de Plancy's Bakewell puddings. 
I'd rather like to try them for myself. Oh, this is making me hungry now. Don't do this. If you're giving me the help of your men in exchange for cakes. Yes. But... Farewell, my beauty. Wait! Huh. Let's have a chat. Is his lordship joking about the Bakewell puddings? No, miss. His lordship is a man of folly. How ridiculous! He treats you all right if you do what he asks. Well... Equipment. They have some decent equipment here. It will be more than useful for the excavation. Okay. So we, we got that much, right? So what still am I to do? Fix the fiddle bow. We've got the workmen for the excavation. We've already got that. Bring Bakewell puddings. Okay, well let's invest. We know where Mrs. Mrs. Deplanty is. Let's go discuss puddings with her. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. Deplancy. Do you still have some of your homemade Bakewell puddings, Mrs. Deplancy? Oh, you're too late, pet. Oh, no. Left, but they're set aside for someone else. Might you please be able to bake me some more? Sorry, I, I, I'm not in the mood for baking. Truth be told, my dear husband Albert passed away recently. My thoughts are all over the shop. Bless her. Sorry to hear that. Aye, he's in God's hands now. Were you married to Albert a long time? Aye, too many years to count. He was a cobbler here in Bewley, the most dashing... Ah, oh, so that's why the cobblers doesn't open, okay. I used to tell him. Oh, love is precious, pet. Mm. There's nought that can replace the all it leaves in your heart. The all. I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, I'll get by. May I ask... Who you have set aside the puddings for? Oh, uh, Father Roach. He won't be back until tomorrow. Oh, the father. Not at all. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood for all this baking chatter. Sorry, Mrs. Deplancy. Thanks mm. for your time. Lord be with you. Knifer. I don't wish to give that away. Ah, take That's it. It's not mine to. Oh, hold on, my kids are here. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break then, run an ad and all of that. I will be back in just a moment once I've said goodnight to the children. One moment. <laughs> now that was quick, wasn't it? The children have been bade goodnight, and I shall now continue. I don't know. I don't know what to do next, really, then. Uh, let's go back in the pub. I'll let the worm enjoy his new home. The little wormy. Look at the little worm. Ah. Oh, there's a gentleman outside the pub. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. I'm not going to waste my time with... I don't care for being yelled at. Oh, sugar cubes! Hands off me, sugar! I think this is bastard for all the patrons, sir. I said, hands off! Come on, Joe. Be nice to our visitors. Ha! This place has gone to buggery. A sugar cube. What do horses like apart from apples? Sugar cubes. Man, you're right there, man. Hello there. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ralph. Not seen you around before. I'm just visiting. What brings you to the market today? 
I purchased a scotch egg for me tea. Oh, a scotch egg for tea. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Just, 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 just want a ra random lady, do you want a bite of me scotch egg? Might you be interested? Sorry, miss. I've already got my own job. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. He's definitely going to enjoy a scotch egg. There we go. Right. Sugar cube has got to work. Here, girl. Eat this. Oh, look at this sugar cube. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Hopefully that's gained some trust between us. Now to cut your hair. <laughs> I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Right, okay. So we use the resin with the horse hair. Yeah. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. And then we string it up. I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. Hey. Right, let's go let's go find the girl. Where were where were she? Oh, right, by the toe, of course. Um Devil's Tour. We're going this way. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Oh, look, there's a little cross there now. The simple wooden cross bears a small plaque on which is inscribed the name Albert de Plancy. Relative, are you? No, just looking. He were the cobbler. Who's going to mend me boots now? <laughs> hmm. Right, what we got to do, right, to get the Bakewell puddings. Mrs. De Planty misses his husband, uh, misses her husband, uh, Albert, who's dead. So what we do is we dig up Albert, and in Weekend at Bernie's style, use his corpse to kind of, kind of like a ventriloquist puppet, basically. You know, ventriloquist puppet him. Uh, and... Therefore, uh, you know, oh, sh 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 rather, you know, oh, if you love me, then give the bake or puddings to to Thomasina Bateman instead. Oh, and she'll be so excited to see her husband again that she'll do exactly as asked. And you, you know, at that point, you can throw the corpse at her and run away laughing with the bake puddings. Hello. That is the solution to the puzzle. Does this fresh grave belong to Mrs. De Plancy's late husband? Aye. Rather bare, isn't it? My job is to dig the graves, not decorate them. Goodbye. ta -ra. That is a fair comment. Right. There she is. There's a the fiddle bow. Look what I have for you. We're not again. Ah, oh, fiddling. Oh, everything's got purple. That's probably fine, right? That's probably not an issue. Passed out. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're fine with that, right? My head is spinning. What happened? Was it that good of a tune? Hello? Where did she go? The girl left her fiddle behind. Take it. I'll take it with me in case I see her again. I want to understand what just happened. The abandoned fiddle. Girl, yeah, girl, who's definitely not a goblin. So let's examine it. The fiddle and bow, left to me by the young girl at the devil's toe. Wait, what's one to do then?
Right, so all we gotta do now is the, the Bakewell puddings. There must be a way. I feel like I need some flowers. Right? That sounds about right, isn't it? Flowers. I've no use for the cow. No use for the cow's bane, okay. Let's go talk to her about her husband again. Or indeed anything. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. De Plancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, pet. I'm ashamed to say I couldn't afford now more than a simple wooden cross. You were a colourful man, our Albert. He deserves better. He loved his flower beds. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. I'm sure Albert would understand. His precious hippie astrum were the first to go. I would have loved to lay one on his grave. Right, let's go speak to Mother Mildred about what that. What does a hippie astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red flowers. Okay. Hard to grow in this climate. They were his pride and joy. More flower fetching. This is a bit... Is there's no scent to him. That's Lots of flowers. So much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. Hippie astral were just perfect. Let me know if you come across one, won't you? Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm going to go talk to Mildred Walker. She'll probably know where to find such a flower. Being a real flower expert. There's nothing else I wish to do. Oh, come on. The one person that we can ask. Those berries you're picking. An ancient breed, no good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. I shouldn't enter uninvited. Gosh. Right, so red, red flowers on a, on a tall stem is what we're looking for here. I guess I'm I guess I'm wandering around the town again looking for more flowers. I have more flowers. I certainly don't wish to touch it. We trowel it up and put it in the bucket. We don't have a bucket. Can we still not go this way? The road disappears. Yeah, it still can't go that way. I don't think we'll ever go that way. Alright, let's start talking to people again, see what I can All Right, Joe's gone, the miserable old son. I have nothing else to I have nothing. This mad lad here. Hello there. Yes. Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistlecrack is her name. Thistlecrack. A name for a horse. Aye. It were what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes a treat. But it feels wrong to change it. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. Where are all the flowers in this game? Well, let's let's keep talking to people until freshly picked wood. No. No, thank you. Don't want anything off her, him. Uh, there's, there's nothing. 
Red flowers. Simple as that. These smell rather strong. They can't be the scentless flower. Ah, uh, let's try these then. These smell rather strong. There's no flowers at all by the, the barrow, if I remember correctly. Hello? Is anyone home? No answer this time. Hmm, he's not answering. Oh, clicked outside the window. Probably not a good idea. Well then, wellity, wellity, well. There's nothing else I... Mr. Shoulder, Mr. Leonard Shoulder is at the pub. I've no desire. Okay. So there's no flowers there. Goodness gracious. We got those. Red flowers, but they're not suitable. We've got purple flowers, not what we're after. Hold on, what else we got? Nope, nothing. We'll exit this way. Is there any red flowers? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. These match the description of the flowers Mrs. De Plancy mentioned. There's no scent. You get away from my hippie astrum. Ah, apologies. Move. Well, that confirms it. Right, can we stab her at least? Those flowers. May I please take one? Are you deaf and daft? Bugger off! Ah. Uh, play a song. I don't wish to give that. Uh, um. I shan't lower myself to such barbarity. <laughs> uh, well, well, close. At least, at least you knew what I wanted to do. I really need one of those hippie astrum flowers. Why? It's a long story. Might you please be able to get one for me? Or distract Miss Fenchurch so I can take one? Those flowers are Miss Fenchurch's favourite. She spends hours looking after them. I'm in. Sorry, Mum. It's just that I'm so worried about Mr Ambrose. No, Mr Ambrose again. Hi. No. We were to run away together today. Oh, I see. I see. I'm worried sick that he stood me up. Without Mr. Ambrose, this job is all I have. I can't risk losing it over a flower. Fine. I'm sorry, Miss Tompkins. I still haven't seen him. Do you think he's abandoned me? I'm sure. So many people go missing around here. What's that? What's that about? Could you try to find him for me, ma'am? Uh. Oh, please, Mum. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I can try. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. You're ever so kind, Mum. What does Mr Ambrose look like? He's got brown hair. Brown hair. I'm afraid I'll need a bit more. Okay. On. Sorry, Mum. I'm too upset. Oh, my God. Please find him, won't you? Hey, stop your nattering and get back to your sweeping. Sorry, Miss Fenchurch. 
A bullying old Harridan. There's no point trying. Oh, Harridan. There's a there's a word that you don't hear much. Right, fellow with brown hair, Mr. Ambrose. Uh, that's certainly not the way to go. Now there was a fella outside the pub, right? Do you think that could be him? He's finally turned up. And he's just go, oh, for crying out loud. Go be with your woman. Is that brown hair? That's red hair, really. Good day. Hello there. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? I do, yes. Have you any idea where he might be? He is usually here by now. So I heard. He normally arrives via the road to the east of Bewley. Thank you. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. There's a good clue. All right, so the road to the east, the road that I, that I was like, oh, we're not, we cannot, we're not ever going down that way. Uh, it appears we are going that Oh, another flashback now. There we are. Your shells are looking much more interesting now. I pestered Mother for years to let me bring some of your treasures here. I think she's worried that I'd want to follow in your path. She has hidden most of your discoveries away. I had to beg her to bring me to visit you, you know. I shouldn't worry you with all that. Do you know that I have a story for each of these pots? Well, I don't hmm. know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, I still remember our adventures together. Would you like me to share my memories of them? Yes! Going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> We talked about this one already. The red urn you buried in the garden for me. I thought it was a good place to start as well. Time ago. This one. You were incredibly excited about this one. I hadn't gone on an expedition with you yet. You were so happy about it, showing it to Mother and I. You didn't stop talking about it for hours. I thought, how can Daddy be so excited over some old broken pottery? But it wasn't long until I understood. It was about the time we spent together. Hmm. I think you brought this one back from a trip abroad. I would have loved to go with you, but Mother didn't want me to. I remember you being so proud of it. It looks ancient. We found this one together in that mucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time you'd taken me on a dig with you. I remember you bringing it up to your face to look inside and shrieking in horror. There's a bloody rat in there, you screamed. A bloody rat? Uh-oh. Mother was so angry when you brought this one home, wasn't she? William, that simply will not do... That's the West Kennet one. ...all the space on the mantelpiece. You know, things about That's barrows. Oh, my word, what? I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. Oh, that this tiny. is from the first dig I remember you oh. taking me on. The excavation of West Kennet Long Barrow. West Kennet Long Barrow, there we go. ...behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. You said, now there's a tiny urn for a tiny girl. I almost forgot. While I was searching for your pots in the shed, I found one of your manuscripts. I thought Mother had burnt all your notebooks, but she missed one. It was an account of barrows across the east of England. I managed to... At least seen your Avery. <laughs> It was fascinating. It's nice that they've actually written about decided, that is what I want to do actual barrows in this game. To travel the country, excavating and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm old enough to escape mother, that is. When you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again. Just like we used to. Oh, I, got, I can't stop you. I do apologise. I promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make it so. You'd love to see the designers doing the research, exactly. Right, out by this road. There's something ahead on the road. There he is, I can see him, a grouping of pixels over there. My God! What the? No, unenhance, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Let me free you, sir. 
It was the cat. The cat did it. The cat did it. Look, look at the cat's drinking the milk. Get the knife on it. I'll find a way to free you. Please hold still. I'm going to cut you free. He had been so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. Use knife of man. I'm going to cut your feet. <laughs> His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. How to get burnt? How to get burnt? I was made at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. Are you all right? Oi. Oi. Who were lost in visions of... of hell. Of hell itself. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I... don't remember. Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them. Conveniently doesn't remember. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I... Yes, yes, Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who had done this to him. He insisted that he didn't remember anything, except for his nightmarish visions. Gets sweeping a dirt path seems My love. somewhat pointless. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, a bit of pixel kissing. Jesus, what happened to you? Were you in a fight? Now, fret not, my love. I thought you'd abandoned me. Never. Thank your friend here for helping me out of a bind. Oh, Eddie! Let's get out of here, my darling. Hang on. Vince again. Cuts for guys as well. Sticky where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow. Ah, uh, I love it. <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. My grandma and mum's side used to talk like that. I'll have your guts for garters. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Good luck, you two. Guess where she was from. Oh, look, there's a, sh there's a broom. I cannot pick it up. Right, okay. Gotta look for, we got to look for James then, I guess. Please let us get... If you do as his lordship... Oh, wait, no, hold on. What am I thinking? I look the doggy. Pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog. Hey, boy. Pet the dog. Yeah, he was a good boy. There we go. We picked up chickens and we petted the dog today. So this has been a very successful session. <laughs> it, it, it awoke Vera. <laughs> Best game ever. Exactly. I don't follow that Can You Pet The Dog account, unfortunately. Um, I wonder I wonder if they, they tweeted about this game. Perhaps Mrs. De Plancy would like to lay these flowers herself. Do you know, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I have something for you. You found them. Oh, you dear oh, you child. Dear child. Let's take them straight to Albert. Let's You'll come with me, won't you? Of course, Miss. I... You know, the things I miss most about him are the things that used to annoy me. The click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches leaving his tools all around the house. The 
way he'd never back down from an argument. It's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny Aww. thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. Oh god, he's like me. I just want peace and quiet. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death, pet? It's the part in between that concerns me. in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? My father had an accident many years ago. Ever since, he's been in a state where he can neither speak nor move. Oh, that does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, pet. I believe his mind to still be active, but perhaps this is the worst of all fates. To be trapped in one's own body and unable to accept. Doctor, simp isn't me. All that I see, absolute horror. Maybe he'll get better one day. I'd do anything to make it so. Those flowers look beautiful. They do. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pet, I left me basket inside the church. You'll find some big well puddings in there. You can have them. Oh, you... I insist. <sighs> You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. It's only just that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. Deplant. This is kind of lovely, isn't it? With you. I was saving him for myself. I shouldn't be so selfish. Lord forgive me. You're nothing of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. You go back to your day, pet. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. Deplancy. Oh. That's, that is kind of nice. Bless. Right, we've got the basket. Let's go give it to James. Here they are. We've got the pudding. She shoved the puddings in her pocket because she didn't take the basket. Uh... I, for a split second, I forgot how to get there. My brain short circuited. Oh, here he is. The vision returns. I come bearing gifts. Freshly baked gifts? Oh, yes. yes. Three of Mrs. Deplancy's famous Bakewell puddings. Wonderful. <laughs> you are an amusing creature, Thomasina. What do you mean? You must think me a scoundrel of the highest order for asking you to undertake such folly. I mean, honestly, yeah. Of course I would have lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse to share a cake with you. Lord Panswick. I take no... <laughs> ...scurry about Bewley to fulfill my... What a dick. Or do I? I do not find this amusing in the slightest. You have no idea what I had to go through to get these for you. Oh, I do, I do. And that's what I admire. Uh, he's been watching her. Tenacity. Even in the face of something you know to be absurd, you don't give up, do you? Never. Though in this case, I ought to have. <laughs> now then, will you share one of these tempting confections with me? Oh, why not? Splendid. Went through all of that. I'm glad the rain doesn't put you off. You like to live a little dangerously, don't you, Thomasina? Oh, I don't like him. Stroll to the bed. We're probably not meant to like him. But also, ooh. And ooh to the fact that she seems to like him as well. Side by side, down to the back, his hand occasionally brushing my own. Despite Lord Panswick's entertaining company, I had an overwhelming feeling that time was being wasted. Mm. We ate those cakes down by the beck. And as he attempted the most charming lines he could muster upon me, I only had one thing on my mind. Father. Father! Could he be saved from his suffering? Was the answer to be found within Hobbs Barrow? I ached to find out. I didn't even notice the taste of those famous puddings. Seemingly disheartened by my lack of enthusiasm, mm. Lord Panswick soon marched me back toward the ruined chapel. Chaps, listen up. 
You're to assist Miss Bateman's excavation tomorrow. What time, Miss Bateman? Early morning, if you don't mind. We'll be there whenever you need us, Miss. Hobbs Barrow. On the Bryden estate, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me. Capital. Thank you, Lord Panswick. We're finishing up here, miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Certainly. I appreciate your help. It's going dark now. Well, that's a relief to have my crew assembled for tomorrow. It's getting dark and cold. Time to head back to the plough and furrow. And the music's getting all sinister. Good evening, Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. Your Lordship! So much better than Dark gets good. Oh. Man. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I think it's about to get a little bit freaky. I wish Miss Bateman good fortune for her grand excavation tomorrow. I'm really rather curious as to what she might turn up. As am I, Your Lordship. An exciting time for Bewley. Wouldn't you agree, Stanley? Oh, yes, your lordship. Very, very exciting. My dear, please, allow me the pleasure of buying you a drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite. Wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, indeed, your lordship. Why not? What? Splendid. You heard the- Splendid. There you are. Thank you. Everyone, raise your glasses to Miss Bateman. May she conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that she desires. Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! You don't wish to join me in a beverage? Oh, you go ahead, my dear. Alcohol does not sit well with my constitution. The constitution of a goblin. Thank you, your lordship. I needed that. I aim to provide you with whatever your heart desires. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again, Lord Panswick. Till we meet again, fête des beaux rêves. Mr. Shoulder. Your Lordship. Was he purposely meant to take that much time, or...? Was that just a kind of, oh, I need to finish that animation cycle before it'll let him speak? Kind of thing. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. I cannot tell. I've recruited the help of some local labourers to help with the excavation. Marvellous. When do we start? You think purposeful, morning, cool. First thing. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Of course. I'll meet you here at the plough and furrow. Thank you for your time. Hi, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Excellent. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. I'll leave those two to their conversation. Arthur Tillett. Tom, uh, seen a... Oh, he's wasted again. Remembered something. Oh, guys. What is it, Arthur? Not here. Meet me outside. In the alley. Meet me outside. I'm being very stinking drunk. Very stealthy. Say. What is it? First of all, I must apologize to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes. No. There were a man in the loo. There was? A hooded man. He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. 
I hadn't the foggiest idea what he were on about. It was a drink, you see. I'm an embarrassment, Thomasina. No, you're not, Arthur. Here's what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh. I, standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. Oh, yeah, that was last week, wasn't it? I concentrated, and it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious suspense here. All right, all right. It were a couple of days before I met you. Hurry now, Leonard. Oh. I'm not as quick as I used to be. Oh. It's getting worse by the day. Yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. Do not fear. You said he has promised you the reward of your return strength. Uh, the little goblin man is promising things. Are you sure that it must be her blood? Uh, Aye. She's family. Blood. And she gets here in two days. Aye. We must bring her to the site as soon as she arrives. No, no, no. Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. Oh. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect bit. <gasps> Wait. Who goes there? Did you hear something? The man in the hood was Leonard's shoulder, which is why he didn't turn up. Ah, a moonlight tryst. After something, are you, Mr. Tillett? Your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I do wish you wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. It's beneath a woman of your standard. It's sad, really. That dog urine they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. You're being most unfair to him. Mr. Tillett is a nice man. I told you I didn't like him. I told you I didn't like I shall be Lord Penswick. I do not wish for this to come between us. All the very best wishes for your excavation tomorrow, my dear. Thanks. Hmm. We're getting a musical number. I wasn't paying complete attention, I just saw the purple flash. The shift in the atmosphere as the day fades into night. <laughs> keep going, Beth, keep going. Type something else. Seen uh, Cyril in the corner there, in the bottom, in the bottom right, with his fingers in his ears.
I'm sure that's fine. Nothing to worry about there. Genuinely enjoyed that. <laughs> that was good. That was good. More point and click adventure games need a, a need a musical number. Uh oh. Oh, I'm in control. You're right, lad. So, Thomasina, the journal proves I'm telling you the truth, does it not? It does. Good. Now listen. His voice sounds familiar. Help him again. We can help him together. How? All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Beulah had gotten it into their heads that sacks not were cause of their plight. I tell you, Thomasina, I were not. Your father botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. As for him, well, you know how he ended up. This, this doesn't sound right. No, this is. This sounds like a pack of lies. Is a man of. You don't know your father, Thomasina. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years? You need to enter this barrow and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. Then not only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But how do I... Blood. The truest symbol of that. death. It's the life which flows within you. But it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Worry not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. Time is short. Your father and I grow weaker by the hour. Go! Save your father! The third day. Well, are you going to say anything? I must undo what has been done. Father, I'm coming. Father! <laughs> 25 years ago, but suddenly the week about the hour. I think this is a good place to call it, though. Uh, so I just noticed the time. It's past my bedtime, and I need to go to bed. So I have work again in the morning, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, I do not have next week off work as well. Unfortunately. <laughs>